IP series. And today we're talking about maintain installed equipment numbers. Okay, this is uh, talking about serial numbers for like your engines and your transmissions and so forth. So I hope you guys are really enjoying this uh, series so far. Um, I'm excited. We're almost, uh, well, we're a little past the halfway point with the series, but I hope you guys are learning something. And uh, thank you for all your support. Um, I'm getting quite a few uh, emails and Facebook messengers, um, notifications going off that you guys are really enjoying it. And uh, a bunch of new videos that you guys want me to start working on. So I'm gonna start working on those as soon as we get done this series. But without further ado, let me go ahead and share my screen. And we're gonna jump into part 13. And we're gonna talk about maintaining equipment serial numbers. All right, so like I said, this is uh, part 13 of our series, maintaining equipment uh, serial numbers. So here's your EUN plus transaction guide. The whole purpose is transactions to make corrections to a serial number or a piece of equipment which is install a functional location structure. So there will be times where like your AUAP lab results will say that your, your serial numbers do not match or something. If there was an engine swap or transmission swap, you need to make sure that we track that in the system of record, okay? So your business triggers to form this transaction of a serial number or an install piece of equipment needs to be corrected. So just like the rest of the series, we're gonna start in the equipment situation report, right? You'll put it in UIC and you're gonna hit execute. So from here, you're gonna identify the serial or the uh, the admin number of the piece of equipment that needs to be changed, right? So once you identify the admin number, you're gonna highlight the row and you're gonna hit the system view button or your silver bullet right here. Once you do that, it's gonna load this screen, right? It's gonna load your structured list. From here, you're gonna hit the expand whole button. So once you do that, every thing will be listed out just like this. We're gonna double click the equipment listing all right so once you double click the equipment listing right transmission hydraulic so for example we're going to change the transmission hydraulic so once you do that it's going to bring you this screen which is the ie03 right so most people know the screen where you can actually update your admin number put in your model number your manufacturer date all that stuff right you can look at your uh you know serial data history look at all your open or uh closed orders and so forth, dispatching, all that stuff. But once you're on the screen, you're gonna hit the serial data tab, which is this tab right here. So once you hit this tab, you're gonna hit the little glasses up here in the pencil to go from display to change mode. Once you do that, you're gonna go to the top of the screen and you'll go to the edit button. From there, you will look for serial, uh, special serial number functions, and then you can go to change serial number, right? So that's what we're going to work with. We're going to go to change serial number. So once you do that, you're going to get a little pop up screen like this. It's asking you for the old serial number, which should already be in the system. And then it's going to ask you for the new serial number. Once you put the new serial number in, you're going to hit the little uh, check button and you're going to get this warning, right? Do you want to carry out this transaction despite the warning? You'll hit yes. So once you hit yes, you're gonna have this error screen pop up saying system status is active, right? This message is only inform you that the system status of a piece of equipment of, of install. You're gonna hit the check mark again, and that's gonna ask you this right here. Another warning, right? Do you wanna carry out this transaction? Yes, we wanna carry out the transaction. From that, what you'll do is you'll hit the save button and you'll hit the back button once you come back from the screen. You hit the back button again. And then of course, we're back to the equipment situation report where we all started from. So in this lesson, we have successfully updated a serial number on a piece of equipment, which has installed a functional location structure. So I hope this video is helpful. Like I said, this is part 13 of the series. Uh, part 14 should drop sometime uh, next couple hours. But as always, um, thank you for supporting the channel. If you haven't done so, hit that like and subscribe button and go ordinance. Thank you.